don't think I quite imagined how much work was involved in getting a bike back to bare metal. It is taking so long. First I tried the flap disc, then I tried... What else have I used? I've used flap disc, I've used emery cloth, and now I am on a wire wheel on a drill. And you're not going to focus, are you? But I've got the forks done, and they're looking, they're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. I do like the. F Why are you not focusing? I do like the uh, the way you can see all the brazing on them. Um, it's still a kind of rough finish, which I like. Like you can still see the brush marks in it from the wire wheel. But yeah, we're getting there. So they're the forks. And the frame is in the stand now. I'm having to do this at work. Um, so behind, yeah, you've got the wire wheel. But it's trying to get into all these gaps. Um, that is the chainstay, obviously, where the worst of the rust, rust is. Um, and if I probably come around this side. That's one side that I've cleaned. And you can see the brazing quite nicely there. I like that. But yeah, this is taking some time. But it's what you guys wanted. And I think it's looking pretty cool so far. So, bare metal slash rat bike coming up. I feel like the grinder is the quickest method. But man, it's pretty dangerous. Just catching the edge and it's all over. It flicks up. Puff. But yeah, definitely wearing all the right PPE, mask on, glasses on. I don't want any of that stuff flicking in my eyes. Uh, there is some hidden engraving just on the bottom bracket there and a big lump of um, braze, brazing, brass. Uh, I'm not sure why. But yeah, it's interesting to see all the frames stripped down. It's looking good. Um, I have experimented on the mud guards, which are pretty toast, um, with rust treatment solution. Um, it's blackening all the metal, obviously, the cure rust. And it's a bit of a pain to get back off, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use it on the frame. Um, obviously the mud guards are, well, in bits, so it's just an experiment. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. But if you're going to strip a frame down to bare metal, prepare for a job. Prepare for one hell of a job. Okay, back in the garage. Um, the frame, right, everything now is ready to be reassembled. And as you can see here, the frame is all bare metal. It has taken ages to get to this stage. Um, and I've learned a couple of things along the way. Um, I think I've already filmed a little bit when I was doing it. Um, but to get a, a kind of good finish like this where you can still see the age. Uh, what you kind of like, you can see there a bit of spidering bit of the old rust patches so if you want to keep that sort of age the best thing you can use is obviously going to be paint stripper um, and paint stripper unfortunately these days is kind of not very effective um, nitromores I used a little bit in the hard to reach places and it worked but it took a bit of time um, so I use that around sort of the uh, seat stays, um, around the bottom bracket in the hard to reach places. Um, so you'd need a lot of paint stripper to do that. But it works. Um, it does work and it leaves the finish. You can also use what I use for the majority of the frame is um, a wire wheel attachment for a drill or a wire wheel attachment for an angle grinder uh, which was for the most of it 
and it takes off the paint but it doesn't affect too much the sort of history underneath that paint um, and then uh, I guess after that you can use a uh, emery cloths if you want to do it by hand and do it slowly or if you really want to go aggressive you can use a flap disc on an angle grinder but that is going to start scratching up the metalwork which there is a little bit showing where is it where is it down here you can just see yeah you can still see it you can see the scratches in the uh, the metalwork there that is partly from the emery cloth and partly from uh, the flap disc um, so the wire wheel the wire wheel was the best option for me on the angle grinder um, and then after all did that I haven't polished anything um, it's all still the bare metal it's all still raw um, but what I've done is clean it down and then applied some boiled linseed oil this time um, I read up on stuff lacquer may or may not stick to uh, the bare metal because it would have to have something to adhere to so you'd have to etch it and then you'd lose that kind of history um, it also costs you know quite a bit to do the whole frame and everything else in lacquer um, or clear coat however you want to call it so what I did this time is tried boiled linseed oil um, and that historically is kind of used uh, as a bit of a preservative for uh, metal you can put it on old tools and stuff in a thin layer and a thin layer I do mean a thin layer and it will dry and it will basically stop like oxygen and the moisture just get into the metal for a certain amount of time and then it will obviously protect it so this frame has had two light coats um, the first one coat I did very light and left it for a couple of days and then applied another coat but that was a bit thicker in places and you do get like around the around just in this lug here it's a bit sticky still so if you apply it too thick it gets sticky and it takes ages to dry and you do need to make sure you have the boiled linseed oil because the raw stuff is doesn't dry as quick so I'm hoping this works it was still a bit of an experiment for the boiled linseed oil um, but it looks it looks like it's gone on well it's hasn't rusted at all it went on quite easy it dried quite quick as long as you do the, the light coats it should work but it will have to I don't know I'll have to give you some updates later on to see if it has worked and if it has protected the frame from rusting Now, I didn't want to go all completely bare, so I've left the crankcase, uh, the chain case, the oil bath, however you want to call it, with the paint on. Um, I basically made a big bath of evaporust, stripped it down, cleaned it up, so all the rust went, and uh, applied the linseed oil to this as well. And originally, the this chain case, crankcase, however you're calling it, was missing the big cover on the front. So I dug one out of spare and probably went a bit over the top, <laughs> to be honest, cleaning it up. Um, it was one that was been painted green. It was originally black, so I'm going to paint it green. So I, I wire wheeled it down um, and it's gone probably a bit too far to match so I'm not sure if it's going to stay on the bike I might just leave that open and uh, have the chain set crank set exposed but I do like how the this has cleaned up how the paint has cleaned up but the rust has not cleaned up nicely and that is coated so hopefully that will be protected hopefully one thing I'm not too happy with with how it turned out in the mud guards uh, so I'm not sure how long these are going to stay on the bike um, 
what I did with these is I did use a really worn down flap dish to start with and it came up quite nice so it didn't scratch the metal too much um, but then I put a new disc on and ruined it um, there's lots of scratches in it now I don't really like how it looks and obviously the front wood guard has all these holes in so these are probably going to get replaced at some point with some other guards uh, possibly in the same sort of in the same sort of style as the crankcase um, but yeah we'll, I'll, I'll put them on for now and then we'll see how they look but yeah that's a brief rundown of what I've done all the other parts, all the chrome that you're going to see me put on now They've all been uh, cleaned and then evaporust. Nothing has been polished up because um, it's still going to be kind of a, a ratty bike. Um, so, yeah, everything should be ready to be assembled now. Um, so, I'm going to get to that. Okay, so let's pause for a moment and just explain what's gone on here so far. Because, um, I mean, looking at it, it's almost complete. I've put everything together. Uh, everything has been greased up when it's put back in. 
can see I've at the moment put the uh, crank guard on in place to feed the chain actually through that whole case I had to use a I used a telescopic magnet thingy my bob I just cable tied the chain on the end and poked it through and then again did it through to pull it through the bottom um, so that's all gone on nicely and it looks actually kind of good um, might look better without the, that case on so the crank's exposed I'm not sure and as you can see there's a new brook saddle on there so that's good um, yeah everything's going together I have noticed this wheel set is off the Triumph um, and if you remember it was leaning to one side slightly uh, and looking at it a bit closer when it's in this frame still doing the same thing looking even closer it appears like um, I don't know the spokes might have been changed at some point or something's not right and it's going to require a rebuild um, so I'll have to take that back off later and rebuild it so I can get it pulled over to the center like it should be yeah the mud guards I'm honestly not too happy with uh, I've put them on they look pretty good as they are um, but they're not original to the bike they bolt onto the axles rather than the frame because the frame has mounts um, and the rear mudguard it doesn't actually fit um, with the chain length I have at the moment and um, the axle needs to be pulled right back into those dropouts for it to fit so uh, I mean considering this bike isn't going to be a wet weather bike it doesn't need mudguards um, and I have the rack to put on so what I'm actually going to do is take the mudguards back off um, the crankcase is still staying uh, so the mudguards are going to come off the rack is going on and what I'm going to do with the rack is build a custom um, a custom what do you call it box on the back uh, out of wood so I'm going to have that on the back and that will essentially act as a mudguard anyway and the front um, I might put a rack on the front as well to be honest so it will end up being a super heavy bike but uh, it will be like a practical little uh, grocery getter maybe commuter um, but yeah it's coming along it's coming along so I'm gonna get those mud guards off uh, put the panny rack on cable it all up and it should be ready apart from the pedals we've got to do those as well um, and one other thing that I don't know if you would have noticed or not the bolts instead of simply just cleaning them this time I've actually gone to the trouble of uh, repainting them so I've just stuck them in some cardboard so I could repaint all the tops black um, and they should be protected now so they won't rust again touch wood but yeah back to the build I guess and uh, it should be finished today hopefully
High gear. This seems to work. Change down. Middle gear seems to work and engage. Low gear seems to work and engage. I think we're good. Do not know how long I was recording for them. There we go. Done. Done. <laughs> it looks glorious. I mean, that has taken hours of stripping of that frame, but it's all come together really well. Uh, the mudguard issue is the one thing that is probably going to get some comments. Um, I don't think those mudguards that it came with were right for it, or I don't think I did them right. So I'm happy with them off at the moment, and as I said, it's not going to be ridden in the wet so um, I'm not really wor worried about having my guards on uh, I am going to make up that rear carrier fit on there um, but yeah it's, it's it's been a learning experience and it's come together well and it looks awesome so where was I where was I yeah the process was a learning curve, working out the best way to strip that paint off. Um, took a bit of experimenting with, but I got there. That wire wheel on the... Uh, oh no. Right, typical. Typical. Okay, we're back up. There we go. The wire wheel on the drill, on the grinder, seemed the best method. And a little bit of help with one on the drill as well, just to get in the recesses with a bit of paint stripper. Seems to have worked really well. Um, the, what you call it, um, boiled linseed oil is still an experiment, so we'll see how it holds up. It seems to have brought out the rust spiders. A little bit more so we'll see how it goes um, as I say I'm not going to ride it in the wet just in case uh, but yeah it, it's brought out some of the detailing of the rust spiders um, it seems to have protected it just don't put it on thick otherwise it will take ages to dry all the chrome is cleaned up with just degreaser to get all the dirt off and then some evaporust and it's all come up really nice uh, I have still got to replace that badge so I will do that it's a nice brass badge so that will be the finishing touch um, and yeah all the cables I've used some braided outer cable just to finish it all off the special kind of thing I did here uh, was just really to replace the bike didn't come with these type of pedals uh, the old rubber pedals I had these spare um, they're not very good condition on the barrel but I thought I would replace the rubber blocks which were all split with wooden which will match the uh, wooden rack box when I make it and yeah I wanted to add a bit of colour I know I've got the Mm, uh, yellow wall, tan wall tyres but I thought keeping the chain case um, in the original paint just stripping it down with a wrapper rust and then sealing it would uh, add a bit of colour to it and I think it has I think it works I think it works well now obviously the main benefit of a naked bike is to show all the detailing of how the bike has been built and that really comes out in all the brazing left over um, it also shows obviously all the rust spots where it's corroded and one of those in particular is here a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more here so that's where the deepest part of the rust was just on the chain stays um, so I'm going to monitor that 
carefully to see how it goes but that is the bike in its full. So I hope you like how the bike has uh, turned out and the progress. Hopefully there's been some information in here that has maybe been useful. Um, if you've got any more questions about it just ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer because I'm not sure if I've covered everything. Um, but I'm going to take it out for a test ride, ride it round, build that rear carrier for it. I'm probably going to get a front carrier for it as well and um, fit a set of dynamo lights once I've completely sorted that front wheel because that is still one job left to do but yeah definitely happy I kept this because I was gonna I was gonna throw it so it's turned out nice turned out nice as always thanks for watching um, subscribe if you want to see more like and comment or dislike this video to your heart's content um, and uh, we'll get on to the next build not sure what that's going to be just this moment possibly some more to the doors Kirk is uh, putting up a good fight if you're following the updates you can have a look on Instagram and I'll try and post them to my YouTube feed as well but the Kirk is putting up a good fight at the moment but um, yeah hopefully that won't be too long so I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching again and I'll uh, catch you in the next video.